Don't jump on it. Good morning. This is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and I just rolled out of bed. I'm ready to share our day, show what we're doing on the farm. Now my husband is done painting and he's home to work on the homestead. It's so nice to have him home every day. So we've got lots of things to work on today and I'm excited to bring you along with us. So Sophia is four now and I am taking her through this book, Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. We're just going through it really casually and she absolutely loves it and it's just really fun. I'm not really expecting her to learn how to read at four but she has been just having a blast with it and this is a really easy book. Okay, now you touch under the sound while I say it, okay? So I just got one of those robot vacuums. I think that it's called Eufy. It's E-U-F-Y. I got it off Amazon. I'll link it below. It had a $90 coupon off. I'm like, you know what? This is going to be so worth it to try. I'm just going to see how it does. And I've actually been quite happy with it. It isn't the most powerful, but I've been surprised at how much it picks up. And I just run it after it's charged. So it runs like one or two times a day. And I haven't had to vacuum since we got it. It's actually like keeping up with it enough that I haven't had to vacuum. So I think I might do like one big vacuuming once a week with my Dyson and then just let that thing run the rest of the time. Because I was having to vacuum like every day with the Dyson and, and sweep. But I think with this thing, I could get away with just doing weekly, which would be awesome. The sheep have been out on the driveway trimming up the edges of the road. We just got our new gate put in. I've wanted to put a gate in for two and a half years, ever since we've moved in. Now we have finally have a gate, and it's so nice. These are all our adult ewes. We have rams out in this pasture somewhere. The grass is so tall you can't even see them. And then we have um, lambs behind the house. We have four ewe lambs. Two of them are bottle lambs, and then two of them we separated from that mom in the back because she had triplets and she was looking really skinny. So we left the smallest triplet on her and took the other two away. She's doing a lot better now, but she's had triplets two years in a row and she, she just needed a break. So they were, they were 10 weeks old, so they were old enough to wean and they're doing just fine. Here's our blind you. Not completely blind, but partially. This one and this one should both be pregnant for a second breeding this year by our St. Croix ram, hopefully. And the rest of them will wait for a fall breeding for spring babies. We're gonna go move the pigs now. This is gonna maybe be really bad, either really good or really bad. Because pigs don't herd very well, but we'll see. Follow your friend. Follow your friend. Come on. <laughs> yep. Let's go, piggies. You're going the wrong way. Go that way. Go that way. That way. Sophia, slow down. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Go the other way. Oh. You're a stubborn one. Go on. Okay, I'll deal with that. You deal with the pigs. 
Everyone go back. Get off. Off the porch. Get out of the yard. Go on. Go on. You too. Let's go. Thank you. I'm working on dinner right now. I put a chicken in the Instant Pot since I am notorious for forgetting to get meat out and I was starting for frozen. <laughs> so that should be done in seven minutes. I've got a soup base going on. I'll just add all the chicken to that and that'll be our dinner. Nice and easy and nourishing. So I finally got new curtains for our room. We have had weird blinds in here ever since we moved in. The blinds have been like broken halfway down and then the whole rest of the window is just open and Luke really needs there to be curtains or blinds or he wakes up like as soon as it's light out in the morning and sometimes he wants to sleep in a little bit more especially on the weekends so I found these really beautiful linen curtains on Etsy and they're like the farmhouse stripe curtains We've got the blue, they're white linen with blue stripes. They're really beautiful. So I got one for this window and one for this window. So now our bedroom has matching curtains. It feels like a milestone. <laughs> Whenever you add something like that, it's like oddly exciting when it's for your own house. I also just put this rug in here. This is from House of Tokemon. I kept hearing about House of, is it Tukemon? I never can pronounce that right. I kept hearing about them on the Homemaker Chic podcast, and this rug is from them, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I am totally obsessed with it. What you got, Vivian? Say cheese. Oh! Geese are like, this is our water. You get out of our water. See, this tomato lived. Oh, good. Here, look at all this. What are those? Washes and... Here's a tomato that's alive. And there's a tomato that's alive. Hey girls, everyone go through. Hurry up. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed following along in the in a day in our lives. And I hope you enjoyed seeing what's going on on the homestead and in our old farmhouse. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.